So I've chosen to search or to make a graph of the overall site condition for sites in the whole database. So you can do this for countries or locations separately. Um, for example, if I want to do this and do refer to the tutorial about advanced search, tutorial number 17 for more information here. But just to quickly show you, if I want to do this, for example, for just Egypt, I could type this in here in the search box and then do my search in, a, in the advanced search. Or I could do a location filter first and then do my searching in that one search. But for now, I'm going to look at the whole database. And therefore, I'm only going to... I've, I've selected Heritage Place here. I don't necessarily need to do this because these fields only exist in Heritage Place. But um, for, for the sake of clarity, I'm, I'm even doing that. Um, so I'm looking for overall conditions. So I've typed in here condition... And this is the one I want, the Heritage Place overall site condition. So it opens this, and now it's very straightforward to search for each of the terms in the drop-down menu. So I'm starting with goods. This gives me 17,648 results. So the results are always at the top of the page. If you're further down, you need to scroll up. Um, so I'm going to enter that here. Um, Checking if I've done that correctly, yes. And then I can go on to the next one. Um, and like that, I can go through all of the terms in this drop-down until I've done all of them. So in this case, it's 11,485. So again, I just type that in there. Uh, so until I've done all of them, the total, and this is a very common mistake, so it's very important to get this right, the total is not the same as the sum of all of these. In this case, it should actually match up because each heritage place should only have one overall condition and not multiple. But in many fields, you can have multiple values. For example, the site function, you can easily have an agricultural pastoral site, which is also domestic. Or you can have multiple interpretations and multiple disturbances. So in that case, if you add all of these up, you get much more than the actual total number of records that have this field filled in in the database. You can also not just take the total number of heritage places that exist in the database, because they might not all have this field filled in. In fact, they don't. So therefore, we need to do this differently. I need to close the advanced search. Um, and then in this search bar, I'm going to type in uh, the name of the field. So in concepts, and I need to check that I've got the correct one. So I'm looking for overall condition state. And this gives me 47,076 results. And this is the total that I'm working with. And this is especially important for the percentages, which we'll look at in a moment. So I've got... 40,026. So I will complete all of these um, without you having to watch all of that and then we'll move to making the actual graph.